Hello, welcome to Prout Rev. My name is Professor Sohail Anayatullah, a political scientist who works in the area of future studies. What I'd like to do today, explore the question of who killed George Floyd. This is an issue of what's called forensic foresight. We use a methodology called CLA, cause alert analysis, which is derivative from Prout analysis. It suggests there's four levels of analysis. Level one is the litany, the day-to-day -day headlines. Level two is the system, society, technology, polity, short-term history. Level three is the worldview with a culture that's nested underneath the system. And level four is the myth and metaphor, the deep underlying story. So let's ask this question, who killed George Floyd? From the current narrative or the dominant narrative, which is being challenged daily, George Floyd was killed in Minneapolis, 46 years old, black male. He was arrested for using a counterfeit bill, police merely responded to a complaint. They were protecting citizens. The story was they were upholding the law, law and order. Essentially, this is what's called a thin blue line. There's police here, citizens there. They have to protect other citizens and protect themselves. Now let's look at these four levels again, but using deconstruction. Let's challenge some of these categories. Let's challenge some of these frameworks. Well, in this other headline, he was killed by a police officer and with three other police officers were aiding and abetting. Now, what's the cause of this though? The cause is a system of oppression, racial inequality, which has worsened since the GFC. African-Americans have less access to his tax advantage forms of savings. The mortgage market is not available to them. There's discrimination, this historical discrimination, Jim Crow. There's fewer opportunities and we'd say there's just not a normal pandemic, there's a pandemic of racism, where it leads to unequal access to healthcare. Now the worldview of their culture underneath this is racial superiority. That's what can argue what's occurring in the US is a kind of a viral genocide. Now what's the deep story here? The deep story is a notion of white space. There's different types of spaces in the US. Now let's go further. Let's change the worldview and think, okay, now let's use the worldview of Black Lives Matter. So what killed George Floyd was he was killed by the system and by the deep story of the thin blue line and white space. Their alternatives are, their suggestions, defund the police. The police can't do it all. They need to focus. The economic alternative is black to black business, challenge traditional history, reparations for slavery, clearly declare KKK a terrorist organization, begin truth and reconciliation, take this situation seriously, the system does not work. What's the worldview? The worldview is social justice. And the underlying metaphor is black lives matter. Now let's go a fourth layer. This is the layer that Proud adds on to. Who killed George Floyd? What's the alternative? You would want a future where the system supports people like them. They feel supported, they find gainful employment, they find a gainful purpose. What would that system look like perhaps? A maxi mini wage structure for one, cooperatives for another, a global knowledge economy, commons. And clearly in the system itself, police not doing everything. You have mental health workers, social workers, community health. You have many case workers helping individuals transform their current situation. Now, what's the worldview here? The worldview is new humanism. It's not based on any race or religion. It's we're all humans on the planet. And what's the inner story? The inner story is no one is left behind. It's a caravan going on a journey. Where's the journey going to? It's a planet where it's purpose, prosperity, people. So that's in fact the alternative. So CLA suggests who killed George Floyd from a policing perspective while he was counterfeiting. What killed him was really a system of oppression if we look at that the worldview is racial superiority. It's white space. If we look for solutions, in fact, we want social justice, reparation. We have to go move towards black to black business. And the deeper part is we go towards a proud solution, no one left behind. New humanism as the worldview transform the U.S. economy and the global economy. People need to be feel supported by the system so that they can express their physical, mental, spiritual ideals. Thank you so much. 
I hope you found this analysis of use and you can use CLA and proud perspectives in your own work to create alternative and better futures. Thanks.